natural disasters, climate change, demand for energy resources. These are some of the greatest challenges facing the global community today. And increased awareness of environmental issues has made it clear that these problems have a significant effect on everyday life. If you look at challenges uh, globally now, the energy and the environment and the economy all have kind of come together and are doing a pretty delicate waltz. And with any dance, you can't step on the toes of the partner or the dance won't go very well. So if you look at the energy scene, for example, uh, fossil fuels, oil, natural gas, and coal are becoming stressed and critical, and the emerging alternative energies uh, are starting to become real players but have a long way to go. So that's a, that's a big challenge. The economy depends on energy, as we know, and economies are growing and industrializing uh, globally. So they're going to need uh, available energies. So that transition from fossil fuels to non-fossil fuels is critical. And playing in all that is the environment. Things from uh, natural hazards uh, to water and the coasts and of course the atmosphere, land, air and sea are all woven around energy and, and economic health and processes. So these are great challenges, ones that geoscientists and, and geosciences have a very core role in addressing. From the global impact of floods and tsunamis to the decreased availability of necessities such as energy, food, and water, our future depends on becoming more knowledgeable about the Earth. And the field of geoscience holds the key to finding solutions to the problems affecting the world today. Natural hazards are, are very natural. What's, what's not natural is that we humans like to build in the way of them. <laughs> so we, we tend to like to have homes right on a coast and subsidence is occurring or sea level rise and coastal change. So the land use and the land cover in those areas is critical. Uh, we tend to like to build homes on the edge of cliffs overlooking the ocean. And again, landslides and, and rockfall happen. And so adapting our understanding and getting, getting humans to become a lot more knowledgeable about where they locate and how they locate is a vital part of what the geosciences bring to all the natural hazards. As environmental challenges increase, so does the demand for geoscientists. Geoscience is an expanding field providing opportunities to explore fascinating natural phenomena and apply new research to the issues that matter today and for the future. Career options for geoscientists include a wide variety of positions in industry, education, government, and consulting. With the environment playing an important role in today's political arena, geoscience also provides opportunities to shape public policy. One of the things I would really like to continue doing is, is doing the kind of research that I've been doing throughout the course of my PhD and master's work. I spent a whole lot of time in the field. Um, and one of the more exciting times was last June when I flew to Alaska, flew on a small ski plane out onto a glacier 80 miles from any road and spent a lot of time skiing around in the, in the mountains of Alaska doing surveys of glacial moraines and other features there, collecting samples to, uh, to kind of get at erosion rates by those glaciers, how they're affecting the landscape. So I'd love to continue doing that kind of research because it kind of satisfies my appetite for adventure. But I like to know that as a finishing PhD student, I have a lot of other options, including industrial options. There's this like really deep interplay between the geology and the biology. And that's really what I love about my field is that intersection between the two different fields that have historically been looked at as individual things and we don't necessarily like see the connections between them. And so this field's pretty new and young and there's so much to discover and learn still about how these things interplay and interact with one another. Technology is advancing so fast in our career that it's one of the highest technology professions there is. So you don't just get out and beat on the rocks, which is a lot of fun, but you're applying technology like the world has never seen before in modeling the earth processes. It's a very fun career. This career right now is in such demand 
for all of the understanding of hazards, of resources, of water, that it's probably one of the most exciting and one of the most secure careers one could have in today's time. Employment opportunities in all aspects of the geosciences are expanding. Demands for geoscience expertise are increasing as the current workforce moves toward retirement. In fact, based on recent employment and educational trends, a shortage of geoscientists is predicted in the near future. Opportunities for young people entering the field will continue to grow. So we're going to have to begin to adapt um, our water systems. We're going to have to begin to understand and, and make sustainable our, our energy systems. And, and really begin to try to work uh, interdependently globally to address these. And, and it really brings to play the confluence of academia, industry, and governments. And to bring those together to address these challenges is not easy, but those bridges have to be built globally. And it's one of the great opportunities, I think, for young people coming into our field today. Faced with an onslaught of complex global concerns, the geoscience field is in need of innovative thinkers now more than ever. That's why the Geological Society of America is committed to promoting and supporting the constantly changing field of Earth science. Its programs are designed to advance geoscience research and provide scientists with the professional support and resources needed to solve today's most urgent environmental problems. GSA has a primary mi mission of advancing the geosciences. Now, what does that mean to anybody who's not a geoscientist? What we want to do, we're all in there studying what makes the world tick, what makes the earth tick, but to advance that science, we need to let other people know what we've discovered. Founded in 1888, the Geological Society of America has consistently been at the forefront of advances in the geosciences. Today, GSA continues to grow, always staying on the cutting edge. Undergraduate and graduate students comprise more than 28% of the society's membership, and this vibrant organization continues to inspire and support each new generation of geoscientists through career development, research grants, internships, and mentoring programs. One of the things GSA is famous all over the world for are their publications. And we publish the research of people worldwide. Another way that GSA contributes to both its members and the global community is through their mentoring program. So the mentoring is very important and it's one of the ways this organization has always built loyalty to it. Uh, another program funded by the foundation is the GeoCorp program, which puts professionals and students into national parks and public lands. And they're able to spend a, a good part of a summer educating the public about the geology of these areas. It's a lot of fun. They learn a lot about the geology while they're there. And they're able to impart that geology to the general public. We also have large programs for teachers to help them teach young students about the earth sciences and introduce them to earth sciences. And our sciences change and develop so fast that teachers have a hard time keeping up with it. Without the programs that GSA provides, you know, they could get behind easily and get uninspired about what's happening in the geological world. By understanding the impact humans have on the earth, and natural processes that affect humankind, geoscience is helping to make a difference in the future of our planet. The Geological Society of America, Science, Stewardship, Service. To learn more about the Geological Society of America, visit geosociety.org.